Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. I hope those are watching this video. You are doing great uh, by the grace of Almighty. In this tutorial, uh, I'll show you some very common type of questions which is uh, coming to your exam or in, even you, it's very common in the test paper. These type of questions regarding Pascal's law. And uh, my target is to give you some sort of idea. I am trying my level best to upload all the contents of every single chapters of physics, chemistry and biology. And then uh, try to upload some sort of questions which is creative solutions and some mathematical problem solutions. So of course you those are watching this tutorial, uh, let me know what is the requirement. And this tutorial, as the title is The Mathematical Problem Solvings of Pascal's Law, this type of figures should be very common to you uh, in the question paper. And you see, uh, when you study about the Pascal's Law, you know what is the statement of Pascal's Law and how the force multiplication is going on. So this is all about the hydraulic press. And this is uh, something object will be given to you. That, and the question is, if this is fallen down in this liquid, will it immerse or will it float? This is very relevant with the Archimedes law, but this figures is totally related with the Pascal's law. So I hope you all know what is Pascal's law and I already uploaded a video on Pascal's law and also mathematical problem solvings part one and this is part two. You see, this is two cylinder and we know this is the smaller one and this is the bigger one. And of course, this will be um, like an applied force and some force will be exerted. And we also know the given radius of the cylinder is not same. So there are some sort of change. The question is, how much force will be felt here in the bigger cylinder? The first question. And the second question is, uh, if this object is felt down in this liquid, will it float or immerse? Before going to explain this, you know that the nature of creative questions A, B, C and D, there are four questions where some sort of like easy questions will be on number way and there are some sort of like experimentals or descriptive type of questions will be number B that I am showing here is number C and D. So if the first question, I mean number C is what is the field uh, or exerted force in the greater cylinder, we know According to Pascal law, the rules is F2 by F1 equal A2 by A1. And you also know it. So we know that from A, we got pi R2 square oblique pi R1 square. And from both sides, we can erase pi. So we will do it, this R1 and R2. And I have already said that in this case we don't need to convert it to centimeter to meter because it's not required because the, the, the ratio of the radius will be same if it is meter or centimeter. So usually in this type of mathematics we won't change the length, I mean unit, it should be centimeter. So now the question is what is F2? So you know that, that F2 is equal to, you see, this is R2 square by R1 square times F1. So this is very normal. So if I say that this is 400, 400 by 4 centimeter centimeter will be removed and this is total square plus into 2. So what should be the things? It should be 100 square by 2 that is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2 and that is actually 2 times 10 to the power 4 Newton. Till this, this is very easy. I really agree this is very easy and you of course can do it. But the next question is, if this object where the radius of this object is 2 cm and the mass is 20 gram, if this object is felt here, will it float? or will it sink? To make it understand that the Archimedes law, we can think in two ways. One is the ways? Number one, if we can prove that the density of the object and the density of the liquid, what will be the given data? That in density, if you find the density, 
and if we say that okay the density of object is greater than the density of liquid then we will say that it will definitely sink or the density of liquid is bigger or greater than the density of object then we say that okay the density of liquid is greater then it will definitely sink or the density of object is I mean if, if the density of object is less and the density of liquid is higher then if density of object is less it will float or if the density of object I mean in this case it will definitely sink and the other thing is that we can find we can find the weight of the object weight of the object and if we got the buoyancy we got the buoyancy and if we say that weight is greater than buoyancy then we can say okay it will definitely sink but if the buoyancy is greater than weight if the up thrust is greater than weight then it will float so we can think two conditions in both cases it will definitely depend on the available data we can do it in scenario are same and also the calculation will be the same but I'm just telling you that the process of thinking based on the data as because the question paper when you have the question paper and the exam hall you know that the time is limited and that is why it's exam and this is the testing process of someone's students that in how to control or how to handle the pressure situations in the exam hall because time is limited the task is huge and that is why students need to pass handling this situation now you think what is the data is given what is the data is given e is the object now we have to think about the radius is given 2 centimeter let's think it 0 0.02 meter now we have to convert it into meter and in this case m is 20 gram so it would be 0 0.02 kilogram now we need to find out the volume because to find the density we need to think about the density if v we got it v then v equal as it is a circular so we can say this is 4 by 3 pi r cube now we think 4 by 3 times 3.1416 times 0 0.02 meter cube so what should be the volume of this circular object is okay 4 by 3 times 3.1416 times 0 0.02 0 0.02 cube that is actually 3.35 times 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube so it's given meter cube is given now we can think rho equal m by v okay rho equal m by v now you think m is given 0 0.02 kilogram so this is kilogram and this is the meter cube so 3.35 times 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube so the answer will be kg per meter cube now you can see that if I divide 0 0.02 divided by the answer that is 596 596.83 kilogram per meter cube which is this data this density density and the density of the liquid is given 800 so definitely 596 is less than 800 that means the density of object is less than the density of liquid so definitely it proves that it will float in the water I mean in the liquid so the if I just this is the water then it would be like this it will float but there is another thing when I do some critical type of mathematical problem solutions that there is options that how much percentage is floating and how much percentage is merging 
so that is another type of questions but in this level we are thinking about only the primary level of understanding that would it float or it merged depends of what depends of this fine so according to our first way we can say that these these object will float because the density of liquid is greater than the density of object and another thing we can think about it how how to follow think about we got m okay now if we see that the weight of the object is w equal mg so now you think 0.02 times 9.8 it would be what it would be 0 0.02 into 9.8 is 0.196 newton so it is 0 0.196 newton this is the weight and now if you find the buoyancy buoyancy then this is v rho g now you think this v is this that means the volume of the object that is 3.35 times 10 to the power minus 5 now this rho is the density of this liquid which is 800 times this g this means 9.8 now we do the buoyancy that must be greater than this then let's see I'm just assuming 3.35 times 10 to the power minus 5 into 800 into 9.8 which is 0 0.262 yes so you can say 0 0.262 newton again you see one thing that you got the weight of this object in air okay and if it is merged into the liquid you see it will feel this amount of buoyancy which is already according to its volume according to its volume if we, we just put it into the liquid and the density of the liquid it says that that the buoyancy is already higher than the weight so definitely it will again float in the in the liquid so the weight I mean here the liquid density is greater than this and similarly the weight also less than the buoyancy so you can say in both cases it's not actually both cases this scenario are same how come because the scenario is same I said it already that we are saying that that relations is between weight and the buoyancy both are force suppose buoyancy is a force of course i mean just expressing an f so we can say that w equal mg and this f is equal v rho g as it is buoyancy now you think as we know that rho equal m by v so m equal rho times v so if this m is rho v g this is also rho v g now these two are same but the difference is this v and this v is the same the object volume this g and this g is also same but the problem is this density is the density of object but this density is the liquid density that is thing the object density here the object density if it is bigger then the density of the liquid it will definitely sink but if the density of liquid is higher then it definitely floating in the water the same thing i hope you understand and if you don't do let me know so i'm just solving it as a very primary level and of course i was saying at Pearl earlier that this is very primary level problem solutions and of course if you don't understand please do let me know and whenever you are watching this tutorial do it with your own hand and students of english versions from any school any college or anywhere you are watching this video i wish your success i wish that you can solve your problems by your own and you will feel better when you are having the questions in your exam hall that is my target and that is my purpose so take care stay well see you in the next class with another type of questions bye